Chapter 46 Bel bows down, Nebo stoops. Their idols were on the beasts and on the cattle. Your carriages were heavily loaded, a burden to the weary beast. They stoop, they bow down together. They could not deliver the burden, but have themselves gone into captivity. Listen to me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, who have been upheld by me from birth, who have been carried from the womb, even to your old age. I am he, and even to gray hairs I will carry you. I have made, and I will bear. Even I will carry and will deliver you. To whom will you liken me, and make me equal, and compare me, that we should be alike? They lavish gold out of the bag, and weigh silver on the scales. They hire a goldsmith, and he makes it a god. They prostrate themselves, yes, they worship. They bear it on the shoulder, they carry it, and set it in its place, and it stands. From its place it shall not move. Though one cries out to it, yet it cannot answer, nor save him out of his trouble. Remember this, and show yourselves, men. Recall to mind, O you transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is no other. I am God, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Calling a bird of prey from the east, the man who executes my counsel from a far country. Indeed, I have spoken it. I will also bring it to pass. I have purposed it. I will also do it. Listen to me, you stubborn-hearted, who are far from righteousness. I bring my righteousness near. It shall not be far off. My salvation shall not linger. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory.